we have already seen in our previous video what average speed of an object in motion is. Let's understand it one more time as this is an important concept. First of all, how will you define the speed of an object moving along some path? The speed of an object is the distance travelled by an object over the time it takes to complete that distance. Say the distance d is 20 kilometers and the time it takes to cover this distance is 4 hours. What will be the speed of the car then? Yes, the speed will be 20 over 4, that's 5 kilometers per hour. Look at the value carefully. What does it tell us? Does it mean that our object travelled 5 kilometers in every hour? Or in other words, does the value of speed say that the object travelled at a constant speed? Well, we know for a fact that the car does not magically start directly at a speed of 5 km per hour. Its speed gradually increases. So if the car was starting from this point, then its speed cannot be constant. What if this was not the starting point of the car? Well, we still cannot say whether the speed was constant or not. Because maybe the car was slow in the first half of the journey and then sped up in the second half. The given data does not imply in any way that the car will cover 5 kilometers in every hour. So if this is not a constant speed, then what is the speed called? This speed is called average speed. Average speed is defined as the total distance covered by an object over the total time taken. So in our example, we are given a total distance that the car travels and the total time taken by it to cover that distance. And hence we calculated the average speed of the car for the entire journey. I am sure that you are clear with the idea of average speed now. So what's next? Look at the unit of speed used in the example. The unit of speed in this example is kilometers per hour or kmph and it's one of the most common units of speed. Yes, this unit is also used in speedometers. Suppose a car is travelling from point A to point B and the speedometer shows these values at these three instants. Notice at time T2, the speedometer reads 30 km per hour. What does that mean? Is this an average speed? No, it's not an average speed. The speedometer shows us the instantaneous speed. It is the speed at that instant of time. Here, the speedometer reads 30 km per hour. It means at that moment of time, the car is travelling at this speed. It does not say that the car has been travelling at this speed or will travel at this speed. The value is only at that instant. And that is why we see that the pointer is never really constant in the speedometer. It keeps fluctuating. You are going to learn more about instantaneous speed in our higher grades. In the next video, we are going to see some of the units of time. See you there.